Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, from that perspective, uh, I do think the U.S. economy is going to do relatively better than many of the other economies in the U.K. We have Brexit issues, which you already know has stopped growth for a long, long time. You have the situation in Europe, which was never really that good. Uh, so, yes, I don't disagree with that. However, what, I'm, what I think what we're seeing now is more of what we saw just a few weeks ago, which is that everybody wants to get hold of dollars because they're holding uh, big loans in dollars and they want to hedge these bets uh, and they do that uh, in the currency markets. To give you an idea, uh, the US GDP is about 21 trillion. Uh, apparently, uh, according to a uh, BIS report, about 11 uh, billion or trillion, sorry, of loans have been issued by foreign banks. So these foreign banks, of course, they operate and lend money to other foreign firms. And when their economies are collapsing, they want to hedge their positions in the market. And I think that is really what's driving the currency markets right now. Very good question. So the euro has declined quite a bit already. Uh, but it would not surprise me one second if we would go down to the low from 2020, so maybe down to 106.55. But if you just look at any chart, you can see that the euro has already dropped quite a bit. I think if you want to bet on something, one could buy maybe a bit of uh, dollars against the pound, because I think the pound has a bit more to lose uh, compared with the euro uh, right now. Yeah, I mean, last time, uh, if, we, if we look back, for example, what happened in 2018, uh, on, in 2018, the currency lost about 91% of its value. So what happened effectively, you had huge inflation, if I remember correctly, maybe about some 25% inflation in Turkey. And the central bank reacted by raising interest rates aggressively. So that put the uh, Turkish economy into recession. Uh, year on year and we hadn't seen recession for a very long time in Turkey because again it's an emerging market economy right so if it would be a situation like in the past like if we look at how much the currency has lost this year the currency from, from November last year has lost about 20% so maybe it could force the central bank again to raise interest rates and that would undoubtedly push the economy to very low growth again and effectively what they did from 2000 and, and in 2019 when they started to lower interest rates they will need to repeat that uh, later on again so there's definitely problems now for the Turkish economy when this happens and from the central point bank's point of view it's very difficult for them to do anything because it's not just about the Turkish lira like all emerging currencies uh, are suffering at these conditions. Uh, look at dollar Mexican peso. It lost almost 40% uh, in just a few weeks. So it's, it's going to be a difficult time here.